Hey everybody, welcome back to the Photog Experience. And on today's episode, I'm taking a little break from the cruise vlogs to kind of give you an update about a brand new toy that I got. And I'm super excited. <laughs> So I've been doing a lot of research on new tech and new gear. I've been looking at a lot of different options on different cameras that I wanted to get because I wanted to step up my vlogging game with video quality, with um, all of that. And I've been wanting a different uh, camera as well uh, to take photos and things like that while I'm on while I'm traveling and going to theme parks and whatnot. And I've been doing a lot of research and I've been contemplating so many different cameras that uh, my head was spinning. And I finally come to the conclusion on what camera I wanted. Now with this particular camera, it is super exciting because it's not just a video camera for vlogging. It's not a camera just for photography. It's also a cell phone. That's right. My brand new vlogging camera and photography camera and all around workhorse is the new 11 Pro Max. I am super, super excited. If you all have been following my channel for any length of time, you know that my primary vlogging camera has been my phone and so I decided to step up I had the 8 plus and I decided to step up to the 11 Pro Max and I am not disappointed yes it is a price difference from my old phone to this but I am super 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 excited about this phone um, what I did with this is I did a bunch of photos and uh, now I didn't do any videos just because I didn't have time because I had to set the phone off back to Verizon my 8 plus um, but what I did is I did a lot of comparing photos I did a lot of compare photos between the 8 plus and the 11 Pro Max so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut into those um, I have 25 comparisons um, just a bunch of random photos, um, some at Belk, some at um, just on streets and things like that. One of the main reasons why I did not want to change to the 10 or whatnot was because I did not want to get rid of my home button. And the 8 Plus was a fantastic camera for video. It shot in 4K and was a fantastic photo camera. Um, if you've been, again, following my channel or following me for a while, you know that 90 to 95% of my photography um, through the Photog experience has been on my iPhone 8 Plus. So I'm super excited to do this compare video to show you um, just kind of what to expect if you upgrade to the 11 Pro Max or the 11 Pro and to kind of show you the difference between the two. Um, and it's a huge jump um, phone wise between the 8 Plus and 11 Pro Max and I'm super 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 excited to show you. If you all haven't already please consider subscribing to this channel. Um, I'm going to be doing some things different. I've said this in previous videos before. I have some really cool ideas about what I'm going to be doing with the exposure, what I'm going to be doing with the Creator Limelight and I have some great travel vlogs here as well. Currently we are on the Carnival Magic vlogs. So if that is something you're interested in, please consider subscribing. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so you can stay up to date for all the videos that I post. And please go ahead, leave down in the description below if you all have any questions about this phone or if you have any questions about upgrading or anything like that. I'm super excited. Let's dive in and compare the iPhone 8 Plus to the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Here we go. All right, so I'm back at home in my kind of makeshift studio here in my spare bedroom. And what I'm gonna do is, this is basically gonna, from here on out, it's basically gonna be a voiceover type deal. 
I have my images back to back and I'll have them labeled for you just so you can see. On the left hand side of the screen it is going to be the iPhone 8 Plus and on the right side of the screen is going to be the new iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now what I'm going to do basically is just kind of discuss each one of the photos. Not, not in depth because there is 25 of them so some of them I'm just going to kind of skip over. I just want you to see the difference between the two. So without further ado, let's do this. So welcome everybody to voiceover world. Um, this is the first time I've ever done anything like this voiceover wise. Um, I am typically not a voiceover person. Um, I just don't think I have the right voice or equipment for a good voiceover, but I think it, what I have will suffice and I'm super excited to dive in to these photos. To compare the iPhone 8 Plus to the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So let's go. So the first pair of images I have for you all is literally just the outside of the Belk building. And when I decided to do this video, I was literally on my way to Belk to pick something up for my wife. And I was like, what better way to start than right at the front of the building? There's only a few photos inside of the Belk building or around the Belk building, but I think it's a good way to give a practical view or a practical comparison between the iPhone 8 Plus and iPhone 11 Pro Max. So the very first photo is literally just the front of it. And you can really see the difference in the concrete. The iPhone 8 Plus has super, super smooth concrete. Like it looks like there's no definition at all. But you can see almost every single particle of concrete of the stone in the road uh, on the 11 Pro Max photo. And you can even see all of the detail in the building. And the huge difference I'm seeing between the iPhone 8 Plus and the iPhone 11 Pro is just the detail. Obviously, it's a better camera, it's a better sensor, and things like that. But they just the definition and tonal range and clarity you get out of the 11 Pro Max is insane. So this very next shot is a literally a tree right outside of Belk. And I didn't say these are going to be the best shots in the world. They do get better as the night goes on because they do have some darker shots for the night. Um, but I really wanted to see how the the new iPhone, how it can handle the tonal range of a tree getting hit by the sun and still see the clouds. And as you can see in the 8 Plus shot, it did an amazing job. Like it looks like a great photo um, by itself, but you get some crazy lens flare and it's struggling hardcore with the tonal range and with the contrast in the leaves. It just doesn't know what to do. But once you get to the 11 Pro Max, you can see that it has no problems whatsoever. You can basically go in there and count every single leaf and it handles that lens flare like a champ. Now this next shot, uh, whenever you order something from Belk online, um, at our particular Belk, you have to go to the shoe section to pick it up. So I went to go pick it up and I was waiting for it, for them to bring it to me. And so I turned around and saw these suede boots and I was like, hey, why not? I'm doing a comparison video, so might as well try it out. So one thing that's crazy about this particular photo is yes, you can see the definition in the boot is astronomically different in the new in the new iPhone but just look at the definition in the cardboard box and look at the tonality and look, you can see almost every single fiber in the iPhone 11 Pro it's just crazy it is literally just crazy so this next shot is like the different pillars basically the don't run into the front of the building pillars um, those are for anybody to stop so they don't drive into the building with their cars um, and yes that is a little bird poop I thought that was hilarious, so that's the reason why I took this one instead of the other ones, just because I thought it was funny. Look at the mountains and the trees in the background, and look just how well the iPhone 11 Pro Max handles the definition and that, and the tonality and the contrast. Like it, the iPhone 8 Plus struggles hardcore with this, and with the lens flare and 
Like, just look at the highlights you get out of the 11 Pro Max. Like, it's just, it's insane. Both are doing an extremely well job on basically having the foreground in focus and the background out of focus. But the iPhone 11 Pro Max just handles that so, so well. Like, the definition between what's in focus and what's out of focus is way higher than the difference between what's in focus and what's out of focus for the 8 Plus. The 8 Plus is just super, super soft. This next shot is literally of the parking lot of Belk. What I really wanted to see is the definition in the concrete, the sky, and the cars, and basically just everything. The Obviously, the iPhone 11 Pro Max handled this like a champ. The definition in the clouds, the definition in the concrete, in the parking lot, even the cars themselves are just super, super sharp. Now, I'm not knocking the iPhone 8 Plus. This was my workhorse. Well, I can't say this because I do not have any more. The iPhone 8 Plus was just a workhorse for me for two years. Like, I did everything on that phone. All Basically, all of my videos, um, all of my photography, um, travel-wise, has been on that phone. And so I'm super, super, super excited to upgrade to something like this and upgrade to something that just blows the A plus out of the water. Look at the definition in the clouds. Man, that's just, it's insane. So this next shot, what I wanted to do is I wanted to try different textures and different tonal ranges. Like going from the sky to the trees, to the tall grass, to the concrete, to the cut grass, like everything. I wanted to see just how well it would handle all those different textures and the contrast between all of them. And I would, I want to give it up to the 8 Plus. Like it handled it, this shot, like a champ. It did so well. But again, it has to go to the 11 Pro Max. The definition in the clouds and in the trees and even the tall grass, like it's just overall just obviously just better but I mean that's what to expect from a brand new iPhone now with this one I wanted to try out just to see how it would handle colors and you can see the huge 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 difference in the blues and the yellows and the greens and the browns and the grays and the concrete like everything is just insane and obviously the sharpness in the 11 Pro Max is it's a million times better. But just look at the different colors in the blues, in in the painted blue. And look at the definition in the yellow. Like, And look at the difference between... I know I'm all over the place, but there's just so much to look at in this photo. And look at the difference between the grasses in these photos. Like, the deep kind of bluish color in and saturated color in the 8 plus in the not so saturated but more true color in the 11 pro max that's one thing that i love about the 11 pro max is just the true tone and the true color in it like it tries super 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 hard to get exactly what you see the colors and tonal ranges and contrast what you see comes on the camera comes to the phone and it is insane and of course whenever you're doing some kind of compare photo or compare a camera thing you have to do a selfie and the 11 pro max obviously did not disappoint if you can see me i am one of those people that have a hooded brow so basically i am a modern day caveman and i usually have very dark shadowed eyes and you can see that in the 8 plus you can see that it struggles giving me some definition basically in the eye area because I have such a huge brow I'm a modern day caveman but the 11 Pro Max handles it like a champ and what's really cool is the definition in the trees obviously the grass like everything and even in the beautiful luscious beard like can you see all the detail in that beard man beautiful now, just to let you know, with these two photos, obviously, I used this front-facing selfie camera. This is the only time I used the front-facing camera with these photos. All of these photos were taken with the back camera, and it was taken at the 1X. 
zoom per se. So just a straight up camera. There's no zooming, there's no nothing, just straight at the 1x and that's it. I'm not, I did, haven't messed with exposure with any of these shots. I've not color graded any of these shots. These are straight out of the phones onto my computer, into my program to show you all. Just to let you all know that. So these next couple of shots, I'm not really going to talk about them much um, because get, it is getting later in the day and just the ability to get a better exposure in darker light with the iPhone 11 Pro Max just is like it can't be matched with the iPhone 8 Plus. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of go through these. I'm going to play some music on these next compared images and I'm just going to let you all look at the difference between these two in different lighting situations. Now I will come back on and I'll talk about a few of them just to kind of go over my thoughts. But for the for the most part, let's just uh let's just show you with some music. Let's do that. So for this couple of images, um, where I'm from, they have this beautiful theater called their Paramount. And I've actually have put this in some of my videos before. I decided to go there just to see how the different cameras will handle the the light situation. Um, with this, with the Paramount sign, it has a bunch of different little lights all through it, like old time theaters would. And just look at the difference between the iPhone 11 Pro Max and just how beautifully it handles everything. Like, you can see the detail on who's playing there. You can see the detail in the buildings. You can still see detail in the sky. Like, it is just crystal, crystal clear. But once you head over to the iPhone 8 Plus, you can see that it struggles hardcore. And I knew it was going to. The iPhone 8 Plus was definitely not the best in low light situations. I don't think any iPhone really until 10s Max was really decent in low light situations. Even the 10s Max still struggled. Now, just to let you all know, these photos were not taken with long exposure or night mode. These were all just straight up just shots from the camera with no extra help with night mode or anything like that. So I'm just gonna kinda let the next few rounds of images kinda pass through, and then I'm gonna kinda give my overall feeling about the whole situation.
So my overall thoughts, um, comparing the iPhone 11 Pro Max to the iPhone 8 Plus, obviously there's no comparison. The The detail that you can get from the iPhone 11 Pro Max is just insane. Now, all of the video that I have done um, from when I was in the park earlier to this, it is on the 11 Pro Max. Um, then I have my Movo mic plugged in, and that's also what I did my voiceover with. Um, and I have some, some lights going on to kind of help with the whole situation in this studio. Um, studio. Uh, it got really dark outside, so there was no point in me filming out there. Uh, and this this works perfectly fine. And it's not bad for a makeshift studio. Now, all of these photos, like I was saying earlier, except for my selfie, was, taking, was taken with the back-facing cameras. Now, all of these were... All of these photos have not been color graded at all. They have not been touched in any way, photoshopped or anything like that. They are straight out of the camera, straight onto the computer, straight into the video. And so my final thoughts on the 11 Pro Max, I, I'm so happy that I decided to upgrade to this amazing phone. I'm super excited to start using this as a vlogging camera. Um, I really haven't been able to really use it yet, really haven't been out doing much. I've been really, really busy with work and with life and things like that. Um, but I'm super excited to start using this as my main vlogging camera. Now, if you have an older iPhone, if you have the 8 Plus, even if you have the 10, and you're wondering if you want to, if you want to upgrade to the 11 Pro Max, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. The, the quality that you get out of these little cameras and even out of the front-facing camera, because this is out of the front-facing camera, the quality of video and photos you get from this phone is just unreal. Like, it can basically be your whole vlogging travel photography setup, and that's what I'm going to be using it for. So I'm super excited because I don't have to buy another piece of equipment. I don't have to go out and get all these different things to help make this footage better. Like, it's just going to be better, and it's going to be amazing. It's stabilized. It's super high quality. You can shoot in 4K up to 60 frames a second. You can do amazing slow motion. The sound quality is amazing. Like, it's just, it's overall worth it. So if you are looking to upgrade from the iPhone 8 Plus, or if you're looking to upgrade from any iPhone, basically, to the 11 Pro or 11 Pro Max, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. So that's all for this video. Again, my name is Jonathan. Thank you for checking out this episode of the Photog Experience. Now, if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing and go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Y'all have a good night.